Hello everyone, welcome to you on my channel. Today we are going to learn about multi-layer chart. Let's begin. This is our data and it consists days, humidity level, weather and rain level in different days. Here in this chart you can see all in three layers is available. First is humidity, you can see it here, then weather and then rain, how many millimeters it happens. Okay. Now I will guide you in three layers how we can put this data. First of all, what you need to do it, go to file, add options and advance. Here you will find charts. In charts, just remove these two options, uncheck these ones and click OK. What it will do, if you are going to make any data changes from one source to another source, this shape will not change. Now I will explain to you how to create this chart. I am going to remove it. I will remove this data as well. And now you can see this data is scattered data. It is not in a sequence. Uh, it is sequenced by day, but not sequenced by value. First of all, we will make this table, insert and donut chart. I am going to remove the legend and chart title and I will make it format up to 5 which will help you to see it clearly. This is the chart. Now I want to make it little bit different than this one. I will go to format data series and it will show you this one. These three bars are the chart bars. Here you can see the whole size, donut whole size. I am going to reduce the whole size and you can see this one. It is coming in different layers now. Now, you can see it here, different layers. And which layer I am clicking, you can see it is showing that one. See it here now, weather and this one is rain event. Now, I would like to see the data as well and I will go and add the labels. I want to make changes here as well in the color, black is not readable, now it is readable. You can see here this, there is no sequence of the data, it is randomly coming. Now what I will do it. I will use here one command equals to sort, press the tab and it is asking array. Array means the data range. I put it this small range, then comma and index which line 1, 2, 3, 4 mm rain as per the rain. Then sort ascending or descending. I told descending minus 1 and see all data is here. Now I am going to change the data source. Chart design, select data and I am going to select this data now. Okay. See now, earlier this data was not in sequence. It was 100, one, uh, then uh, 140, 90, 130, 80. Now all data is in sequence. For example, here if I will make change, you will see here, see it is automatically updating that one as well. Now I am making it 85, so you can see it automatically comes to the end. And this all is in sequence. You can label it here, the chart title. You can put the legend on the right side and it will show here. Now I want to remove, you know, certain formats I want to make it. I can do that one as well. 
okay. Uh, for example, borders, I do not need any, any lines, see it is no line, no line, okay, no line. Now, the lines have been removed, you can see that one, okay. Now, th these are the options which you can play with it and you can learn it. In, in the format of uh, you know uh, this uh, solid lines or whatever you are looking for you can change the color lines all these things you can do it the most important part is how to select the data you need to consider two options first i started uh, to give you the two options to uncheck them and then make this chart now this chart is available in different layers whatever your data is, it is there it can represent Furthermore, if I will go to click and format, uh, format uh, this series, you can put here with these some certain information as, as well, category name, series name, value, whatever I am looking for, percentage of what it is and legend keys. It will give the legend keys as well. So, these are the things which you can do it from here with some of uh, you know your uh, different experiments you can do it uh, you can uh, uh, rotate as well you can uh, you know uh, make a shadow you can uh, glow it edges 3d formats you can apply it uh, this is all about the pie chart in different three layers chart thank you very much feedback i hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving, if you have not already subscribed this channel, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos. Provide your feedback in comments.